I kind of hate my hair now. Well, that's, that's where I'm at in life. I don't know how to carry everything. Oh, I've done so many. I don't know which one. I'm back. I mean, it's not like I haven't made a video. I just haven't made a opening calico critter critters. Really quickly, I always forget to add the S when I say calico critters. I always say calico critter, and then I'm like critters. Anyways, welcome to my, I don't know what number this is, but this is like my spring Easter calico critters toys. So like, I my favorite holiday is Halloween by far, or I guess technically Halloween is on holiday, but like my favorite just like day is Halloween. I love October. Christmas, of course, I mean Christmas, but Easter, oh my god, I... I don't really celebrate like the actual holiday, but Easter decorations and just everything to do with Easter, like bunnies and chicks and pastels. I'm just like, I go crazy. So how I decide what toys to buy, I check the new releases first, like any toys that have come out in the past couple of months or anything that's going to come out soon. Well, actually, no, it's usually whatever came out already so I can buy it. <laughs> I'm not going to wait. Speaking of waiting, I'm waiting for those duck, the triplet ducks. Like, hello, where are they? I need them. But yeah, I like to check that. And then I also like to check eBay or like, I'll just Google Calico Critters and like look at different websites to see like older toys that they don't sell now. But you know, obviously like people or other stores still sell them. So then I decide like what I like more. And surprisingly, I couldn't find m many Easter things. I mean, you know, not everyone celebrates Easter, but like, I don't know, I could. I feel like I, I didn't see a lot of older Easter stuff. Like with Christmas and Halloween, I saw a lot of older stuff. But with Easter, I didn't. But that didn't matter because fortunately, this was released. Actually, you know what really, really sold me though? Look. You see that little chick? I want to farm. I want to have little baby chicks and ducklings everywhere. So when I saw that little chick, I was like, I need that. I mean, I wanted, the, I wanted the whole thing, but the little chick is just so cute so yeah this is the first thing that I got and it's called the Hoppin Easter set and it comes with like little Easter eggs obviously the little cute dog I'm guessing you could put like the little candies inside the Easter eggs so cute and of course it comes with the Easter basket with little Sophie inside so aside from Easter another great thing about spring is the weather <laughs> the Sun shining and you know, the temperature doesn't feel miserable. And then I thought, outdoor stuff. I mean, I don't really have any. I only have like the little like tea table and chairs that I got a couple months ago. I think that's really it. I don't really have anything that's outdoor, but now I do. So I got a, I mean, I guess this is like a barbecue. It's like a little, it's a little table grill. And then there's like fish, well obviously to eat fish, but... Oh wait, actually no, there's no fish to eat. I mean, I guess you could eat the fish, but... Is that for fishing? No, that is to eat. So another outdoor thing that I thought of that I don't have is a garden, sort of. There was a bunch of cute garden sets that I saw, but... I think I might get them eventually, but this one, I don't know why I really like this one. I think it's because it's like... It comes in like the little pots, so you can kind of put them not just outside, but like in the house. Look how cute! And then this thing where you put the, like the flower pots, it says garden on it. I, I just love it, because like you can put it outside, but you can also bring them inside the house. Like you put different like pots of flowers and the kitchen and the living room. So it's, I don't know, it's so cute. And it comes with like vines and stuff. So you, oh, you could wrap them around. Oh, the banister, the stairs or the whatever. See? How cute is that? One more thing I got, and this isn't a furniture. This is a baby. <laughs> I mean, of course. It's funny too, because I just realized I have Sophie, who's a, I mean, she's a baby. I don't know how I found her, but I mean, I was on eBay, as, of course, as, as always, and she just popped up, and I thought, She's spring related because she's a She's a deer I mentioned how much I love like Easter and like chicks and bunnies, but I also really love deer like I love Like little well. Yeah, little baby deers little fawns. So when I saw her I was like I Just need her so actually I kind of do need help with 
something having to do with her. In my Calico Critter videos, especially in the beginning, I did not know that the names of the Calico Critters were on the bottom of the box. I know that now. This is all in Japanese, which is great. Thank you Japan, by the way, for still selling a bunch of Sylvanian families. Right now I'm gonna say Sylvanian families because, you know, everywhere but here in the US they're called Sylvanian families and since this is from Japan, I'm gonna say Sylvanian families. Um, yeah, it's all in Japanese, so I don't know her name. And I actually Googled it. I, I tried finding it. I put like Sylvanian families, baby deer, and there was a family that popped up. So I don't know, maybe it is her name. Is her name Fauna? If you actually do know her name, let me know. In the meantime, I mean, I feel like that it's a cute name and it's very fitting because obviously she's a fawn, Fauna, but I'm gonna name her Fauna. So that's her name. Oh my god, guys, I forgot about one more thing. Now this, <laughs> technically this isn't like part of like my spring, my spring stuff, but I got a food item. <laughs> As you can probably guess, it's a very, very cute food item. It is a sandwich, well it's like a sand, you can make sandwiches. Look at the packaging, it comes in like the, the packaging that you would get when you like, you know like machines that you put like a coin in and then you twist it and then it comes out and you get like this. That's what it looks like. Oh my god, do they have those in Japan? But like with Calico Critters, they probably do. They have everything so cool over there. Oh my God, take me to Japan. Let's um open this up so I can show you guys. Actually, I'm gonna open everything, but I'm gonna open this first since I, this is, yeah, I'm just gonna open it. <laughs> the bread and obviously like the stuff you put inside. But I just love that the bread is shaped like a Calico Critter. So cute. So yeah, you can make your own little sandwich. And I mean, this is like a spring thing, you know, eating sandwiches like at the park or outdoors at a picnic, whatever, at, at the benches, you sit and you eat a sandwich. This is so spring. This is very spring. Oh, she just fell. My new baby. We got some grilling stuff going on. <laughs> Garden. Vines. Flower. Where are the flowers? They're in here. I'm so confused. I don't know where the flowers are. Oh, oh my god. I nearly had a heart attack. I thought the flowers were missing. They're right here. I can't decide what is my favorite thing that I bought because I just I'm just such a sucker for Easter stuff. Hmm. Alright, so. As I do in all my videos, I'm gonna assemble everything and then you'll see how everything looks. So down here in the kitchen we have Laura Shannon, cat triplets. They're deciding what stuff to bring for the, the outdoor picnic Easter adventure. We got Grandma Jill, we got Connor and Carrie watching TV and I guess Grandma's watching them. And then up here, we have baby Noel and grandpa Joe. And I don't know if you can see really back there, the Christmas tree. It's out on the balcony, but yeah, cause you guys know Noel is a Christmas baby and she's obsessed with Christmas and there's nothing Christmas in the house and she's really sad. So the tree stays out on the balcony all year round. <laughs> One eternity later. Everything's all set up. Um, it took a while, the flowers took a long time because you have to put each individual plant in the hole and then the flower you put it on top and there's three in each, yeah it's a lot. And oh my god, I almost, you know how earlier I didn't find the, um, the flowers actually, though I couldn't find the flowers. I almost threw this out, the fishing pole. <laughs> The fishing rod. I don't know, I guess it didn't empty the box out completely because it was wrapped, you know, like in plastic, but it was this skinny little thing, so I didn't even, like it was in a little corner in the box, but I was looking for it and I couldn't find it and then I was like, oh, it's probably in the box, and it was, but it was like, I honestly could have easily missed it. I almost threw it out, so I'm glad I didn't because now they could eat fish. But all is good and now the moment you all have been waiting for. First thing I have to address, no, there's no grass because I don't have anything that looks like grass. I don't have like a yard, you know, this isn't technically, I'm not outside, you know, we're inside still, but we're pretending that we're right outside in the garden, patio, little area that, that is right next to the house. So 
this is this is everything. Um, let's do the adults first, shall we? So we have Grandma Jill just, you know, taking care of the food and the babies as well as, I mean, they're all taking care of the babies, but the babies are right next to her, so. Then we have Shannon sitting on that side, Laura, she doesn't, she doesn't want to look at the camera. The food look good, huh? I think that's like hot dog, but it has leaf, like a lettuce, <laughs> like a leaf. I mean, I guess lettuce is like leaf. Whatever, you know what I mean. There's lettuce in it, so I don't know. Maybe that's like a sandwich or something, but yep. Then we got some corn, a fish, and more fish, and two little babies. Hi, babies. Um, not yet. It's not your turn. But yeah, it's actually funny. I realized that Grandpa Joe, he's like a sailor. Look at his outfit. So he knows everything and anything there is to the sea and boats and fishing. So of course, he's the one that got the fish. Thanks, Grandpa. This is my wonderful garden. It's so pretty and cute. So it actually comes with five pots of flowers, which is great because you know you can put two there, two there, and then this one. I mean, I'm, I'm gonna put it in the house eventually, but obviously I just wanted to show everything here. So, but these are the flowers. These are the cute vines. And babies, they're always sleeping. They're gonna be sleeping for the rest of their life. So of course, right next to them are the babies. Okay, so. Don't judge, don't make fun, but this is Laura's, well actually I think the only person here that's gonna get annoyed is Laura. She doesn't know, but the kids took her blanket. The blanket that they did have, they destroyed, so they needed another one, and they took Laura's very fancy blanket, and they use it as their picnic. Yeah, they use it for their picnic. They're having a picnic. The, the kids are having a picnic. Laura doesn't know, even though she's right there, but she doesn't, she's not really looking, because you know her, she's... She's into herself, so she doesn't really pay attention too much to anything, but yeah, so they're using Laura's blanket for the picnic. <laughs> Love that. We have Sophie, who of course came with the Easter set. So cute, look at her little dress. We got some Easter eggs, some of them are open, this one is open, there's another one open here, but I'll show that in a little bit. Sherry decided to jump in the basket and try to open that Easter egg. Then we got, I think, Fauna. You know, you guys, I, I don't know I'm naming her yet, but I think I'm You know, I think her name is gonna stay as Fauna, whether it is or not, so whatever. Uh, you know the blind bag babies? Yeah, I had to like watch the video that I made like two months ago to get everyone's name. So that's Alfie carrying the flowers. <laughs> They're admiring the little baby chick. I'm obsessed with that. I'm gonna leave that out in my room. Albert, the marshmallow mouse. I call him the marshmallow mouse because he has a marshmallow. He's just enjoying a marshmallow that he begged them, the adults, to grill for him really quickly so that he can eat a roasted marshmallow. Then we have, uh, oh god, I should have memorized their names, Bradley. Bradley. <laughs> we got Bradley, the corn- Oh. Oh. One man down. Actually two, maybe two, nope, just one. I call Bradley the corn bear because obviously he's a bear and he is eating and holding corn. Oh, actually he was sitting here so he could stay there. And that is a total of one, two, three, four, five, seven. Yeah, seven babies. Oh, the sandwiches. So I decided because the you know the adults are eating like grilled food and stuff, I thought it would be cute for the babies to have sandwiches. So this is one. I made one right here. It just has, it's a bee. Actually, no, it's an LT. It's a lettuce tomato sandwich, <laughs> minus the bacon. And I just put this bread here because this is the only one that has like the actual face on it. Look at that. I want bread like this, like real bread. If you're wondering where Noel is, yeah. I think because I haven't filmed one of these videos in a long time, I like could not speak. <laughs> I didn't know how to explain anything, it was so weird. But yeah, that is the end of my Spring and Easter Calico Critters video. I actually will link everything down below. Also, thanks so much for everyone, to everyone, for everyone. Thanks for watching, I enjoy making them and I'm glad that you guys enjoy watching them so I will keep making them until, until imagine I buy everything 
no, that's not possible because it's not just like from like things that they release, but it's like everything that's ever been created. Oh my God, no, I. I mean, that sounds cool, but I would have to have an entire house. I don't mean a house for them. I mean, like, an, an, I would have to buy another house. I don't even own a house. What am I saying? Okay. I don't know what I'm saying. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Say bye, little chickie.